Greetings and welcome. This is your friendly Electric Shmoo bringing you another Erlium Archon Responder script. If you've liked these so far, go ahead and like and subscribe to the video. Uh, that will really help me out. And in this example, we are looking at a Python script that is going to import pixels as blocks uh, based on where we map our image into. So you could think of using this as a uh, an architectural import to to bring a floor plan or maybe a terrain import to bring in an island shape. Uh, effectively, we're going to use this wand to choose what blocks from the image we want to place in the world. Now first, let's take a really quick look at the picture that we're bringing in, and that is this very simple hello world. We're just going to bring in some of the H and the E right here, um, but these are going to be brought in as diamond blocks. Uh, I've assigned yellow as a gold block and sand and uh, stone as the other colors, but really we're just going to do a couple and see how this particular interaction works. So we begin by finding a corner and we're going to run webcom set. And what this does is it sends my coordinates, uh, my X and my Z coordinates, as the X and Y of the image. So we're laying the image flat, and now that it knows where the origin is, it's going to read from a picture and pull blocks in based on what that picture says those blocks should be. And in this case, these would be the blue blocks. The black blocks are brought in as just grass. Uh, and this is a way to mix an existing uh, terrain with perhaps a custom building layout. So I have programmed this to just assign the blocks to the existing position, but you could say a certain color should be a certain height of wall, or the amount of yellow in a color should determine its height, or whatever you want to do. Um, but let's go ahead and look at the script that's running this. And this is simply an add-on to the existing uh, Python example that we have in the uh, documentation. Um, I'm now using the pillow library for image reading. And this is the host of the script that we're going to run. This is the server, and this is the password to the Minecraft server. And we really only have two blocks of code to to look at for this particular behavior. We have a message, and we get our user and the message, and we check if it is set. And if it is set, then we are going to get the player's position. We're going to read the response from that command. We're going to extract the x and z values, write a JSON string, and store it for that user in a file. That's all we're doing for set. Now for the wand command, we are going to get the user, read that file, get the x and z coordinates of the offset, and now we're going to read that image. And that image's coordinates are going to be offset, so wherever our wand is clicking is going to be subtracted from the offset of where we assign the corner. And this is just some logging to tell the user what's happening. And here we're deciding what block to place. And so again, I've just used this mechanic. Uh, you could use the amount of color to determine what height the Y value should be, or uh, the amount of blue could determine what type of block it is. Um, it's really up to you how to implement things, but here I'm just mapping color to block, and if you did click a grass block, uh, go one block down and replace what's under it, uh, just to simplify walking around and clicking on dirt. Uh, this is a set block command. We run the command, and that is it. That is all we had to do. We got the pixel, we chose the block, and we sent it. And uh, that is the simplicity of this little extension. Again, uh, this was in Python. You could use whatever other language you want, as long as it has an Archon library to talk back to the Minecraft server. Um, the possibilities are endless. 
So I hope you enjoyed this. Enjoyed this again. Uh, go ahead and like and subscribe. Uh, these videos uh, really do uh, make a big difference to me. So uh, take care. Have a good one.